Hey guys, it's Tim and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So this Sunday is SummerSlam. Some may say the second biggest show of the year for the WWE. With that, we do have, what is it now, 13 matches on this card. Let's run down the current betting odds for this show. Before I do run them down, I do have to say two matches, as far as the betting odds go for two matches, have shifted. First off, on the pre-show, the B team is favored at a minus 275 to win and retain over the Revival at a plus 200. In a mixed tag team match, Andrade Cien Almas and Zelina Vega are favored at a minus 162 to go over Rusev and Lana at a plus 120. With the Cruiserweight Championship on the line, also on the pre-show, we do have Cedric Alexander favored to retain at a minus 187 over Drew Gulak at a plus 137. Now, here's the first match that the actual betting odds have changed on. Previously, The Miz was the favorite, but now, Daniel Bryan is favored at a minus 125 to go over The Miz at a minus 110. I know what you're going to say. How do you know who the favorite is if they're both a minus? Whoever's minus is, I guess you could say, a lower number. Minus 125 is lower than minus 110. Next up, Finn Balor is favored at a minus 275 to go over Constable Baron Corbin at a plus 200. With the United States Championship on the line, Shinsuke Nakamura is favored at a minus 300 to win and retain over Jeff Hardy at a plus 225. Next up, in another match that the odds have changed on, with the SmackDown Live Tag Team titles on the line, Bludgeon Brothers were originally the favorites, but now the New Day are favored at a minus 162 to go over the Bludgeon Brothers at a plus 120. Now remember, just because the New Day are favored to win doesn't mean they're also favored to win the titles. They could win by countout or disqualification. Next up, the SmackDown Live Women's Championship on the line, Carmella is favored at a plus 137 to go over Becky Lynch at a plus 175 and Charlotte Flair at a plus 200. With the Money in the Bank briefcase on the line, Braun Strowman is favored at a minus 200 to go over and retain that briefcase on Kevin Owens at a plus 150. With the Intercontinental Championship on the line, Seth Rollins is favored at a minus 187 to go over Dolph Ziggler at a plus 137, but with both Dean Ambrose and Drew McIntyre ringside, there's a good chance those guys get involved and this match does end in a DQ. Hence, how Rollins can win, but maybe not win the title, but I do expect him to win the title. Next up, with the Raw Women's Championship on the line, Ronda Rousey is favored at a minus 350 to win the match over Alexa Bliss at a plus 250. With the WWE Championship on the line, AJ Styles is favored at a minus 137 to win and retain over Samoa Joe at a plus 100. And finally, in what I believe is going to be the main event with the Universal Championship on the line, Roman Reigns is the favorite at a minus 187 to win over Brock Lesnar at a plus 137. So with that, those are the current betting odds for this Sunday SummerSlam pay-per-view. If these betting odds don't change and they do all come to fruition, that's four championships changing hands this Sunday. If we do hear anything else regarding this Sunday SummerSlam pay-per-view, we will have it for you right here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, subscribe here on YouTube, and follow pwunlimited.net for the latest in pro wrestling news.